province is a historic and cultural area with six departments, Alpes de Haute-Provence, Bouches-du-Rhône, Var and a part of Vaucluse, Drôme and Alpes Maritimes. Provence is now for wine, olive oil and aromatic and medicinal plants. Now the name Provence has become a label all over the world. 35,000 aromatic and medicinal plants are used. For example, thyme, lavender and helichrysum grow inside the scrubland. In limestone soil and the Mediterranean climate. In Provence, a lot of people and companies participate in aromatic and medicinal plant upcycling. These people are very important for development and research and contribute to aromatic and medicinal plant conservation. These plants can be upcycled and there are lots of economic activities around them. They are used mainly for therapeutic, aromatic, cosmetic projects and drugs. Many things can be extracted from these plants. Essential oils, flower water, aromas, macerate or concrete. Aromatic and medicinal plants are interesting because they contain a lot of secondary metabolites and molecules of interest like antioxidants, toxins, polyphenols, terpenes, alkaloids. A secondary metabolite is a molecule which stems from secondary metabolism. It is not essential for the development of the organism. These molecules have a lot of properties and so they are used for many things. For example, antioxidant properties which slow skin aging or biopesticides in crops. This is the reason why they have a real economic interest. Indeed, the aromatic and medicinal plant global market is estimated at 64 billion dollars. These molecules can be extracted through several processes. Solvent distillation, maceration and steam distillation. Distillation is an old process invented in 2000 BC. A high quantity of plants is needed for distillation. There are two kinds of distillation with solvents. Solvent distillation and steam distillation. Distillation with solvent consists in spraying organic solvent under pressure through plant in a tank. Condensation creates essential oil. Waste is concrete. It is a waxy substance containing all the molecules present in the plant except lignin and structure molecules. Steam distillation is quite similar to distillation with solvent. The solvent used is water and the result is only essential oil. And to finish, maceration consists in melting plants and solvents in a tank. The result is a macerate, but no essential oils are collected. Aromatic and medicinal plant production, like every type of agriculture, is threatened to biological threats caused by insects and microorganisms. For example, lavender is attacked by Stolbure phytoplasma, a bacterium which is transmitted by leaf hooper. When the pathogen sets in, it provokes stunting, leaf and stem yellowing, and then plant death. Different means exist to limit impacts and proliferation pathogens, for example, the choice of resistant plant populations, insect-proof greenhouses, the use of natural auxiliaries, and hedges to increase biodiversity, insect traps, glue traps, and repellent plants. Solutions are found thanks to scientific research, for example, the CREAPAM, which is one of the research applied institutes for crop protection. Crops need large areas. Nowadays, a lot of the only fields available in Provence are polluted with different contaminants, like heavy trace metals. Some agricultural soil represents a potential place to cultivate aromatic and medicinal plants. But they are not used for this kind of crops, because agricultural soil is too expensive. So we have to think about cheap and polluted soil which could be cleaned up by plants. Our startup, Solapam, brings two ideas together. 
The first one is phytoremediation of heavy metals polluted soils, such as brownfields, thanks to agroforestry. The second idea is to upcycle aromatic and medicinal plants through essential oil extraction. So, this project is really innovative because it allows industrial lands to be covered with vegetation. But also because the process is low cost, unlike most existing processes. Moreover, there is a real need to depollute in France. With this project, we want to take part in renewable development and to preserve our beautiful region.